What follows is a summary of an exception to the hearsay rule known as the rule about learned treatises. It is found in Federal Rule of Evidence SATO 318. Please recall that hearsay refers to a statement that is not made while testifying at the current trial or hearing and is offered into evidence to prove the truth of the matter asserted in the statement. A statement is what a person said or wrote, but also includes nonverbal conduct. If the person intended the conduct as an assertion, the general rule is that hearsay statements are not admissible in court. The learned treatise's exception to this rule says that statements in learned treatises, periodicals, or pamphlets are not hearsay if certain conditions are met. Specifically, a statement contained in a treatise, periodical, or pamphlet is not hearsay if the statement is called to the attention of an expert witness on cross-examination or relied on by the expert on direct examination and the publication is established as a reliable authority by the expert's admission or testimony, by another expert's testimony, or by judicial notice. If admitted, the statement may be read into evidence, but cannot be received as an exhibit. Note that 80318 is not limited to print material. It also applies to video. There is no reason to deprive a jury of authoritative learning simply because it is presented in a visual, rather than printed, format. In this age of visual communication, a videotape may often be the most helpful way to illuminate the truth. Videotapes are nothing more than a contemporary variant of a published treatise, periodical, or pamphlet. For that reason, Use 80318 for such things as professional training or educational videos. The Girards Law Firm helps the families of those severely injured or killed by the reckless conduct of others in Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Call 214-346-9529 for a free consultation.